Hey guys, this is Snake Shadow Collectibles and today I am reviewing the SH figures across the Spider-Verse spider one Let's start by taking a quick look at the box. So here we have it. As you can see, the box is mostly pink. Here's the Tamashination seal of quality and there's some nice art on the front. The art continues on this side and we have a picture of the figure. On the back we can see some of the poses that you can achieve with this figure as well as the different accessories that it has. And on this side we have another picture of the figure posing. Now let's talk about Gwen's presentation. The figure is fully textured which gives it a premium feel. The colors are accurate and the paint job in the figure is pretty much perfect. Here's a closer look at the shoes so that you can appreciate the paint job. They did a great job with the sculpt and every angle looks fantastic. Now let's check the articulation. I changed to another hood so that it doesn't limit the head movement so much. This is the range looking up and down. It can fully rotate. It can lean a lot. It has butterfly articulation, however it doesn't make much difference. The arms can rise up to this point, down, can fully rotate, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, and the hands can go up and down and rotate. The up crunch is a bit limited to the front, but it's much better to the back and it can lean really well. Oh, and it can also fully rotate, but be careful with it. Legs range to the sides is a bit worse than I expected, however, it's not bad at all. To the front it's pretty good. Same to the back. It has a Tight swivel with a little bit of movement, double jointed knee. The feet have a good ankle rocker, range up and down, and toe articulation. As for accessories, she comes with a squinty nice head, the hood on and off. By the way, the hood is fully painted even on the inside. The Gwen Stacy head, which is beautiful. Let's take a moment to appreciate the paint job. This pair of hands. Hands with the thumbs up to hold the webs. Web shooting hands. A pair of open hands. Another pair of open hands both with separated fingers. Two web effects, a long one and a short one. And a base for the figure. Here's a size comparison next to a Marvel Legends. Personally, I didn't expect her to look so tall. So for my conclusion, the figure is great and it would be an easy recommendation. But there's one thing to consider. Changing hands on this figure is really difficult and the ball pegs could break if you aren't careful. This is the first time I had so much trouble doing that on a figure's figure. Maybe it's because the ball pegs are too small or something. Let me show you. This is the size of the ball peg. Maybe it's because the holes on the hands are a bit too small. Aside from that, I absolutely love this figure. Thanks for watching this review. Remember to comment, like, share and subscribe. See you in my next video.